Don? What are you doing with that coconut? Murph, I'm pretending I'm on Gilligan's Island and I'm the skipper. Don, it takes an awful lot more than a coconut to be on a place like Gilligan's Island. I mean, you actually have to be on an island, not the basement. Murph, I know it takes a lot more than holding a coconut, but I hate leaving the house. This is my sanctuary. And besides, everyone in the world hates me. Oh, Don, that isn't true. And if they do, it's because you're such a butt to everyone. Murph, I don't need this right now. I'm on an island right now. Don, do you know what today is? No, Murph, what is today? Today is January 25th, 2008. Uh, what's so special about that day? The first time you had your first experience with me? Today is the day that Meet the Spartans comes out to theaters, and dozens of people online are waiting for our review. Oh god, everyone's always counting on our dumbass reviews. And don't worry folks, we won't let you down. We have no clue what it's going to be like. It could be good, it could be bad, it could be gold, it could be sad, it could be glorious, it could be shit, it could be magnificent, it could be butt duke. We don't know and we don't care because we're going to see it just for you. Why, oh why? Murph, I had such high hopes in that movie. I did too, it could have gone either way. It could have been great or not. And I thought it was going to be a great masterpiece. I thought it was going to be comic gold, comic genius. I thought it was going to be funny like Epic Movie was. And it was crap. Just plain crap. Crappioca pudding. Crap on toast. Crap, crap, crap. It was actually worse than Date Movie. It made Date Movie. I don't know. Look, almost look as good as Scary Movie. Yeah, but the you know the thing that's really funny about that movie though, about the Meet the Spartans, was that it was actually funny in the beginning. Like the first ten minutes were really good, and it was like, wow, this is going to be nice. And then there was only two other funny scenes throughout the whole movie. I know it started out as a really first crate, actually good spoof, and I thought, wow, this might actually be a good one. But no, I'm sure some teens are going to go. I like that one better than Epic Movie. Who could? I mean, what's wrong with your brain if you actually think that one was better? I, I didn't like it at all. And the scenes in it were just so blasé and lame. It was so worthless and so unfunny. That one dancing scene when they were stepping it or kicking it or whatever. It was like... It was going on and on for like eight months straight. It was like, enough, 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 enough,
about people that don't like peanut butter. I'm kidding, homosexuals like this. You know. Yeah. But, and then Hercules was in it. I know, I keep forgetting what else you, what, Hercules? What are you doing? Well, yeah? <laughs> Cut it out, my hole. I had enough of this. Mainly, they made one too many references to cell phones and iPods and the internet and current events, you know, Britney Spears, Lindsay Lohan, Paris Hilton, they made too much of that. People automatically think, well, if we put these in it, teens will automatically like it. That doesn't make a movie good. That makes teens go, oh, look, they're making reference to it. So what? It doesn't mean it's good. And I'm really kind of sick of this. I just, I mean, like, not to mention they keep using the same jokes over and over again. You know what I mean? It's like the blue screen effect. I could go on, like I said. If you want to see it, go ahead and see it and enjoy it for those funny laughs, but Epic Movie was much better. So, catch you next time, and I hope they don't ruin the next spoof.